Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Colt. Today we're going to install Python on a Windows system, specifically a Windows 10 system. We're then going to install Pygame. Pygame is a game programming library for Python that we're going to be using in a lot of the videos that I make. And finally we're going to install a IDE, an integrated development environment called Genie. So first thing you want to do to get started in downloading and installing Python is go to python.org. Come over here to the downloads and you can just hover over the downloads here. Don't click on it. It's going to open up a window. We can take the default. Download for Windows Python 3.8.5. That's the latest version. So we're going to click right here. And down here it's going to download it. Downloads pretty quickly for me just because I just downloaded it, testing everything a few minutes ago. Once it's done downloading, simply click to run it. By the way, I'm using Chrome as my browser, so things might be a little bit different if you're using Firefox or uh, Microsoft um, Edge or whatever they're calling it nowadays. A couple of things you want to do before you click Install Now. You must absolutely make sure this checkbox right here, Add Python 3.8 to the Path, is checked. Otherwise, things aren't going to work exactly right. Once you've got that checked and you've got Install Launcher for all users, click Install Now. <phone rings> say yes and it doesn't take very long to install and there we go just about finished and all done okay you can go ahead and close it says setup was successful let's go ahead and close let's test it out real quick so now you should if you click on the start menu you should have some Python options up here one of them is going to be idle when we click on idle, it's going to open up the uh, Python idle application. And we've got a Python REPL right here, and we can type in into that uh, REPL and have it evaluate Python statements. So 2 plus 2 is 4. We can type print hello world, and it works. Now we want to install Pygame. Pygame is a game programming library specifically for Python. It's really good. We're going to be using it a lot in a lot of the videos that I do. We can test to see if it's installed. It shouldn't be installed by going import Pygame. And well, I do have it installed because I just installed it a little bit ago. But I'm going to show you how to install it. So I'm going to click out of idle. And now what you're going to do, you're going to come down here to the search box, and you're going to type in CMD, which stands for Command Prompt. You're going to right-click, right-click and choose Run as Administrator. We're going to say yes. Okay. Python has a tool called PIP, which is the Python Package Manager, that allows you to easily install various Python packages and libraries. So we're going to type in PIP3 install Pygame. Now for me it's going to be already installed. It's going to tell me that. Requirement already satisfied. You should get a message that uh, Pygame was installed successfully. If you don't, just make sure you've typed everything in exactly as I've typed it in there. You may also get a message that pip is out of date and you need to update it. It still should have installed Python or Pygame properly. You can go ahead and update PIP3 if you want. You don't have to. Once you're done with that, you can close out the window again. And once again, let's go start up idle. And now when you import Pygame, when you import Pygame, it should work. You should get that same message. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to install a integrated development environment called Genie. I love Genie. I think it's a great IDE. It allows you to write code in a variety of different languages. It formats and color codes a bunch of different languages. What I like best about it is that it's very simple. For people that are just learning to code, oftentimes if you get a fancy professional integrated development environment, that IDE gets in the way of your learning because the IDE may be difficult to 
setup. It may be confusing to use and it gets in the way of your learning. So I like uh, Genie. It's super easy. So all you got to do to install, just click download Genie. And you're going to choose whatever uh, operating system you're on. We're on Windows. So I'm going to choose the Genie 1.36 setup.exe. And I'm going to say keep down here. And as soon as it's done downloading, just click on it to install it. Just click next. Agree to the uh, license. All the defaults are just fine. You don't need the development files. Click next. And install. Now we're going to test it. Let's go ahead and click run Genie 1.36 just for the heck of it. Okay, I've already actually already got a pro, couple programs here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let me click all these off. Okay, yours should look like this. Let's click new. Let's write a quick program. No, nothing fancy. Nothing big. Now you notice it's not color coding. Not doing anything for us. We need to save it. We're going to go File, Save As. Uh, let's see, I'm going to just put this on my desktop for now. And I'm going to call it hello.py. Click Save. There we go. So now it's color coding. It's properly formatting for Python. Okay, so now it should put uh, print the iteration through the loop, 0 through 9, and hello world behind it. There's one change we have to make. You may or may not have to make it. Let's go ahead and try to execute it, just see what happens. So I'm going to click Execute. Python 3 is not recognized as an internal or external command. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come over here to Build. I'm going to go set build commands. I'm going to change this Python 3 to just Python. And yours may already be set to just Python. I had made some changes to my system earlier. Um, so yours may already be set to Python. We'll click execute again. And there we go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And hello world. Okay, so that's it. If you've got any questions, any comments, go ahead and put those in the comments below. Please like and the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, today is a great day to learn how to code. Thank you very much and see you next time.